what's up guys it's chris or CIA here back with another video for you guys today today's video consists of another bracket prediction for the upcoming call of duty league event which is the new york subliners home series i would first like to start this off by congratulating the florida mutineers on taking the last event and beating phase once again becoming the first team to win three events you guys are looking like online animals and they completely stomped phase i think it was the biggest dom deficit of the season in the grand finals which is absolutely insane so huge congratulations to Florida and everyone working with them. But this upcoming weekend, there will be another series coming out. But this upcoming weekend, there's another event going on, which is the New York Subliners Home Series. There are lots of big name teams back in this event. FaZe is back in this event. Huntsman is back in the mix. And then New York, of course, which is now high up there as well. And then LAG, Toronto, London. Yeah, it's going to be a good event, I think. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As always, let me know what you guys thought down below. And I hope you guys enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The New York Subliners Home Series bracket is right here. Round one, the first match of a round one, we have the Paris Legion versus Toronto Ultra. Neither team has really been a top team all season. And as of recently, Toronto's began to look better. Paris, on the other hand, looked better on land than they have online, which is very unfortunate. Did not really prove themselves in their last series, which is why I'm gonna have to unfortunately give this one to the Toronto Ultra three to one. Next up in round one, we have Atlanta Phase versus LAG, a matchup that I'm sure a lot of people are hyped to see because I'm hyped to see. Last time these two teams met, LAG took Phase to a map five after also beating Huntsman in the map five. LAG could very easily be a sleeper team once again in this event and make a run and give some teams a run for their money. They can easily walk away with this, but I will actually be giving this one to LAG in a 3-2 fashion. One thing I have not really talked about that much yet, but I would just like to talk about is that there is a new meta. So I'm sure as a lot of you guys know, 10 millimeter has been completely like nerfed by um, Infinity Ward. It's completely like irrelevant now. It's not nearly as good as it was before. So the MP5 is not nearly as dominant of a sub. And I'm sure if you guys follow competitive, you've seen all over Twitter people debating what the meta is. It's been all over the place. I've seen people use the Uzi. I've seen people still use the MP5. I've heard of the 5M4 meta. And then there's a the whole debacle with the AUG. It was viable. Then it was GA'd by top amps. Then it was un GA'd because it wasn't GA'd by pros and now it's GA'd by pros. So the AUG is its whole dilemma. But this is really going to be anybody's event, I feel like, more so just because of this whole meta shit. Next up in round one here, we have the London Royal Ravens versus Chicago Huntsman. Another good matchup here. Both teams have been solid teams all year. Chicago, of course, with two wins. London has made it far and on to Sunday, but it's not quite pulled it out yet. But I think this will be a good series. I will give it to the Chicago Huntsman 3 2 2. The last matchup here for round one of the New York Subliners home series. You have the New York Subliners versus the Minnesota Rocker. Once again, a tough matchup to call. Minnesota was that team that had not won an event all year that could easily have won an event. They were that team that was like right in that bubble. New York, on the other hand, is a team now more so on that bubble of that five spot with Empire, Chicago, Florida, and FaZe. So both these teams like are looking to prove themselves a little bit and prove that they deserve to be put up there with these teams so this is a very pivotal series i feel like for both teams but i do think it will go to the new york subliners three two two next up knockout round one paris legion versus atlanta phase i know a lot of people are probably gonna be upset that i had phase losing to lag but i did have it in a three two fashion and like i said i'm really excited to see the series because lag played them really well last time i think they're gonna be hungry and i think it's definitely possible given this whole meta shift and everything it could be anybody's to take here, so I really do think LAG will be able to pull it out over them. But in this series here, Paris, the team's been on the decline slowly. FaZe, a team that has been a top tier team all season, of course. Props to those guys, they're all insane players, and they definitely deserve to be considered still the best team in the game by many. So in this series, I will have to call it 3 2 1 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. I'm sorry, Paris, it's just. It's not your guys' year. The second matchup in knockout round one, we have the London Royal Ravens versus the Minnesota Rocker. This is also, once again, a very hard knockout round match we're seeing. Both teams have made it far in home series. Neither team with an event win. This one could really go either way, too. Both these teams, I feel like, were better at the beginning of the season than they are now. 
but both these teams are looking to prove they still are on the hunt for a championship and to win events and be competitive for the rest of the season. But I do not think one will be able to keep up this time. Minnesota, they've been slowly just declining, and I think they're going to become hungry again, which is why I think this one will go 3-2-2 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Next up, quarterfinals, Toronto Ultra versus LAG. Who would have ever seen this? LAG beating Paris, Toronto beating Paris? Okay, but Toronto, LAG, match where everybody's wanted to see. Both teams have been looking on the rise recently. Both are kind of there, like which one is better than which. Could see this match up here, could help determine that a little bit. I do, though, however, think the LAG will be able to take this one. But I do think it will be a close series, which is why I'm calling it 3-2 to two in favor of the Los Angeles Gorilla. And the other quarterfinals matchup we have is Chicago Huntsman versus New York Subliners. Chicago Huntsman, a solid team, obviously. T2P, the Twins, and Envoy, two event wins. They could very easily take the series. New York Subliners, on the other hand, debatably fifth right now. That team just under those T4 teams. Their event, they're very hungry to get an event win, I'm very sure. I think it's going to be a very, very close series. Which is why I am going to have to, unfortunately, call this 3-2-2 in favor of the New York Subline. First up in our knockout round two here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus Atlanta Phase. Atlanta Phase went straight to losers, did not make it past LAG. They did make it past Paris. Find themselves now here in a quarterfinal situation versus the Toronto Ultra. Toronto, on the other hand, also fell to LAG. LAG is just having themselves an event right now. Very close events here, though. Or, I mean, on matches, both are going 3-2, but nonetheless pulling it out. I have faith in them this event. But Toronto versus Atlanta FaZe, I do not think FaZe will crumble to the Toronto Ultra. Toronto has been looking better, which is why it will not be a shutout, though. And this is this series, I will have to call 3-1 in favor of Atlanta FaZe and send them on to Sunday. And your last quarterfinals matchup here, knockout round two, the Chicago Huntsman versus the Minnesota Rocker. Both teams want to make it to Sunday happily. Chicago, they're looking to get back on top, secure another event win, put themselves there with Florida. Minnesota, that one team that's still hungry, they still need that one. They need to solidify themselves and see that they can be the best in the game at a point, at least in an event. Both teams are going to be very hungry. Neither team is going to want to go out, especially before Sunday. It's just going to be an unacceptable place for both. I already can know it going into it. I think it's going to be a very close series. But I'm going to have to give it to the boys over Chicago. 3-2-1. I'm sorry, Minnesota. You did not make it to Sunday. All right, so here we sit, ladies and gentlemen. Championship Sunday here at the New York Subliners home series. We have the Los Angeles Gorillas, Chicago Huntsman, New York Subliners, Atlanta Fays. Who is taking it? First matchup here, LAG versus Chicago Huntsman. Last time these two teams faced off, very tragic defeat for the Chicago Huntsman losing in a 3-2 fashion. They could not play them correctly on search. They were just getting dismantled. LAG has been a great search team all year. Chicago just couldn't keep up, and that is why they lost the series. But I do think, however, that they are definitely a very talented team, and they are going to be hungry, given what happened last time they played LAG, and I do not think it will happen again. I do not think LAG will go out without a fight, though, which is why I think this will go 3-2 in favor of the Chicago Huntsman. Next up, our other semifinals match here, the New York Subliners versus Atlanta FaZe. New York Subliners, once again, that team potentially, who you could say is fifth right now in the power rankings, looking to break into that top four, get an event win and place themselves up there with FaZe, Huntsman, Empire, Florida, and FaZe, however, looking to place themselves in Florida, be the first team to secure, th or the second team to secure three, excuse me, along with Huntsman as well in this event. It's going to be a very, very close series, but I do not think FaZe is going to fall. I do honestly think that FaZe will make it through here, especially after going to losers very early on. I think they'll make a losers run here, which is why I think this will go 3-2-2 to two Atlanta FaZe, and we'll be seeing Chicago versus Atlanta FaZe in the grand finals. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again. Grand Finals, Chicago Huntsman Atlanta phase. Will it happen this time? I have called it before and it has not happened. I do think it will happen this time. I have faith that these two teams both will prevail. Both will be hungry to get another win. Both are gonna want three event wins. And I just I don't see it any other way really. I just I really think so. The new meta, these two will be strong. Envoy was using the Uzi prior to the meta change. If phase has been using the AUG, 
or if they plan to use the AUG this weekend, I do not think they will be touchable really which is why I have these two teams competing versus each other in a grand finals. Everybody would very much love to see, I'm sure. This is a very hard one to call. Chicago Huntsman, like I said, T2P and the Twins Envoy, very solid team. Atlanta Face, the Tiny Terrors, Priesta, like, it's a disgusting all the way around. Like, it's a disgusting group of 10 players, and this is a very hard matchup to call. But unfortunately, as much as I hate to do it, I am going to have to call it 3-2-2 two, two in favor of Atlanta FaZe and I have called FaZe winning a lot of these events I do realize this but I do say this because I know one of the biggest reasons the AUG got G8 in the first place was because of FaZe members using it in the first place I saw multiple FaZe members complaining on Twitter about how they thought it was BS that they couldn't play in two scrims and whatnot because of the AUG like they wanted to use it so I personally do think that there's a chance that FaZe will use the AUG still this weekend and just not play in team scrims and times for a little bit since it is only a GA as we know GAs they are general demons they're not actually in the rules and however on the other hand who knows what Chicago is going to do I don't really know what any of these teams are going to look like to be honest uh, like everything's going to look so much different this event it could really be anyone's to take here given this new meta shift and everything but I am giving it to the boys at Atlanta phase once again for another time don't prove me wrong this time you guys have made it two grand finals every time I predicted you but have not pulled it out yet Chicago I'm sorry I really want I really want to give it to you guys it's gonna be a very close series like as you can see it's going map five but I think I'm gonna have to give the New York Subliners home series champions to the boys at Atlanta phase all right guys so that's pretty much all I have for the video today Sorry, I haven't been uploading or streaming much recently. I've been kind of all over the place. I've been in my hometown back home, like with my parents and stuff for a while. And I've been spending a lot of time with my girlfriend recently. And I also had my birthday recently. And I was just here back in my hometown for the fourth and just spending time with like my friends and family and whatnot. But I do plan to return to streaming and uploading more again later in July. So you guys can stay tuned for that. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know these have been doing well on my channel so far. So like, please let me know what you thought down below i would love to debate and hear what you guys think and what your brackets were but that's pretty much it as always make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new and it's been chris your cia peace